60 percent population is living in a below poverty line. There is no proper food. There is no proper uh, uh, health facilities. No houses. And uh, the governments uh, who are running in the name of democracy have least interest with the uh, with the people because they want to earn more and more money by way of corruption and looting the public wealth and the surplus of the working class there in Pakistan. Moreover, uh, you can imagine that the uh, uh, what uh, uh, working class has uh, snatched through a uh, struggle in 1968-69 in Pakistan. Some workers' friendly labor laws has been framed by the then parliament, but after uh, 20 years, these all the laws has been replaced and draconi laws for the labor uh, has been introduced. I want to say something that uh, in Pakistan uh, uh, people are uh, lined up before the factory gates and the uh, factory management what wants uh, get in the people who requires on daily basis other are refused to go, uh, to go for their work. And uh, it's very interesting point to understand uh, that the daily <coughs> wage now in Pakistan is uh, uh, six uh, uh, is more than one dollar is, is is less than one dollar, and uh, the people are has been uh, uh, compelled to. Uh, pass their lives in such a small money and uh, the movement is on doorstep where any time any uh, small or big event uh, blasts the working class movement in Pakistan because Pakistan has a uh, great tradition of the 69-68 movement when the whole electricity, telegraphs, railway, airlines has been closed and ultimately the Ayub Khan regime toppled down and uh, the Zulaf Karli Bhutto uh, uh, has came in power through parliamentary elections and that party is <coughs> uh, was based on the socialist program. But now the party leadership has deviated from the positions and even manifesto and its founding document which had been prepared by the, uh, the uh, uh, delegates who gathered in Lahore for the formation of newly party which uh, in fact uh, a outcome was that movement because the no working class party was there at that time and the some left groups were there, the Stalinist left group were there but they not took position, uh, 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 Leninist positions about that movement, what, uh, what was the workers movement so they have been eliminated politically and uh, the new popular party in the name of people, people emerged and uh, the uh, the people who were definitely at that time were honest but they do not know proper uh, knowledge, do have, they have knowledge, proper, not proper knowledge of the uh, Marxism so they join uh, thinking that PP is a Marxist party uh, but actually it's not Marxist party, it's a popular party with the slogan of socialism. We are following the program and the strategic tactics what has been uh, <coughs> formulated such type of meetings. We have a uh, Pakistan trade union defense campaign, a campaign for, in, uh, for the working class. Uh, we have a, we are we are intervening and oriented oriented the people politically as well as we have youth organizations and we are trying to gather the youth who are uh, at a minimum program for the youth problems as well as we always used to uh, bring uh, near to the all the work, workers who, who are scattered in different uh, levels. So basically purpose of ours to, uh, uh, to uh, create 
close coordination between the working class and when the movement uh, up, uh, uh, blast, then we should be able to uh, convert it in a socialist revolution. So mm. this, and uh, we, we, we reject the two-state theory, what mm. Stalinism has introduced uh, in uh, 60s, 70s, and uh, due to it, the, the subcontinent is suffering. Now, Indian Communist Party has also uh, followed that uh, positions. So the, uh, the, the real political, ideological positions has been misinterpreted in our subcontinent. Mm. We believe uh, socialist federation of the uh, subcontinent, Indo-Pakistan, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, uh, Nepal. So this is our objective, and we are we uh, we we uh, do work on these lines and these directions. And definitely, it's very important that uh, the successful socialist revolution is is very necessary. Uh, uh, with the unity of the India, in, in India and Pakistan's working class uh, uh, movement. So I think that uh, it's very much necessary uh, uh, that uh, uh, we should uh, put efforts to, uh, to, uh, to unite the uh, workers of India, Pakistan, Bangladesh as well.